Well, scientists are hoping to test more wastewater from planes to track the spread of COVID. Specifically, they want to look at the sewage from airplanes. Fox 5's Richard Jacobus explains why this could make a big difference. For nearly three years, scientists around the world have been trying to better understand COVID-19 and potentially get ahead of the virus before it mutates. And the newest experiment could come right out of the sky. What made COVID so devastating was a lack of investment in public health and a lack of investment in infectious disease surveillance. Mm -hmm. So let's strengthen that. That allows us to understand better the transmission dynamics of what's out there, what's coming. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is considering taking sewage from airplanes to add to its wastewater surveillance system. What can that do? Possibly monitor the spread of COVID-19 as the virus mutates. The nice thing about wastewater is it's, it's pretty universal, not quite universal, but pretty universal in that everybody poops and that ends up in the toilet. Syracuse University health professor David Larson says wastewater surveillance is the best way to get an early indication of an infection. We do sequence it and identify the variants. Adding airplane waste, especially from international travelers on commercial jets, is a process that takes minutes. The sample goes to a lab after collection and then gets tested. It's a radar system that Professor Larson says works. The international flights are probably the most um, prioritized because they're long haul. And then we have community level surveillance here in the U.S. where we kind of know what's happening where. Um, and so, yes, it's those international flights are high priority. Airplane wastewater testing for COVID variants is an active conversation reportedly between the White House, the CDC, and some major U.S. airlines. The hope is to get this plan into action and flush out any of these new variants and maybe help develop a new vaccine to save lives. We're outside LaGuardia Airport, Richard Giacobis, Fox 5 News.